What's up, folks? Dreaming in Cuban by Cristina Garcia. Cristina Garcia. One thing I want to say is that I can't. See. This this girl's off center. She's not centered. Let's go this way. So she's off center. It bothers me. Also, there's ah, fucking tears. So I'm not sure what to think about this book. Very definitely magical realism. Definitely beautifully written. The thing that I don't like, didn't like about it. Let me see. Tell you what I didn't like about it. I, I'm just a dummy. I didn't. I didn't go to college. So big words kind of, kind of scare me. Like I don't want to. I don't want to read big words. And this is the first book that I've read in a while where I think, besides the Count of Monte Cristo, this is the first book where I've had to like stop and look up words or just or even think like, ah, fuck it. I get the gist. Like, there's a lot of words, a lot of words in here that I don't think are, I don't think are typical of the uh, American vocabulary. Uh, so it just seems odd. I don't know. I mean, I've been reading a lot lately, and I have really haven't really come across anything that use such a vocabulary, you know, five dollar words is what I'm saying, five dollar words, woo, so that's one thing I didn't like about it, that being said, it's still, I still love the magical realism in, in it, I still love the relationships, these are all, these are all about love stories and family and I don't know what else I'm going to write about after reading all these magical realism books because they're all the same. Not the same, but they all are about love and romance and family and, and food. They're all about food. So this one's no different. Uh, a little bit thrown off with the vocabulary. But that's about it. It's still good. It's still a nice little story it you know I'm reading more and more of these books that are like little 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 uh, chapters you know and this is encouraging because this is how I write my novel that I kind of put a hold on is this so not only are they little chapters but they're kind of going back and forth they're mixed up as far as time goes and I was scared because that's how I was writing my novel but I'm reading that in other in other books, and so I feel good about that. My novel is on hold because I wrote I wrote my novella, and I'm working on getting it published, and that's taking all my time. So I haven't written in I haven't written anything for my novel, and God knows how long. And for two weeks, I haven't published anything. I went, I published everything for 20 something weeks straight. Something every week. And I broke that commitment because of this novella. But we'll see what happens. I wasn't getting any response from my novel, anyways. Nobody was saying shit. And it's free to read. All you have to do is read it. Go to log, go to, go to davisoderwrites.com. You can read my novel. But people weren't really reading it. So, I don't know. Why bust my ass to produce something that nobody's reading? When I could be working on something that I really enjoy, and that's my novella. And now stories are starting to go off. Like, I could, like this novella could be a series. Like, I could write more and more. Anyways. Um, dream.
streaming in Cuban, if you're uh, Latino descent, you don't have to be Cuban. Latino, you'll get the gist. Uh, if you like, again, relationships between mother and daughter, relationships between father and son, um, lost love, and of course food. There's always food in it. Magical Realism, of course. I got one more Magical Realism book that I think I'm going to read. And I'm going to move on. But I got to tell you, this next book, I'm like, I, I love it. Like, first few pages and I was in love with this last this book I started last night. Anyways, Dreaming in Cuban, Christina Garcia. I, I don't want to give it three tamales because I gave the shack three tamales. And maybe I shouldn't have given the shack three tamales. Four tamales. I I don't even know if three and a half tamales exist on my rating scale, which I'm just made up. But I'm gonna give it three and a half tamales. Still a good book. Um, I just oh, four tamales. Damn it, four tamales. I'm giving it four tamales. Tamales. I suggest you read it. Uh, if you like any of the other books that I've been talking about here the past few weeks or days. All right, that's it. Stoplight safely putting this on stop.